Hello and welcome back to our journeyman save AC Gazzano. Um, again, this is where we're looking to build up reputation for myself. Um, and obviously the first club we have is AC Gazzano in the Italian league. As you can see, I've just come back from coaching. So <laughs> it's been a very long morning, but hey ho, we get straight into it. Um, first of all, we'll go straight into the schedule. Um, obviously the last game we did play, um, we lost 2-1. Um, unfortunately and then, then we went on a, a nice little run four games without losing unfortunately lost and then went again another three games without losing again um it's been a very very hard one because strikers ain't really scoring much goals and we've had to change um tactics as well um let's show you obviously what we have to do we did drop it back into a 4-2-3-1 gagan press sorry wide play sorry and um Working with the two strikers up front just wasn't working. We did play our 4 2 4, and unfortunately, um, it just didn't make sense considering um, our strikers just ain't that great, if I'm honest with you. Um, again, if we even go into the squad, you can actually see the goals have narrowly and nicely been moved around the squad. So there's a nice depth of goals going in, but you know, I really would like our um, strikers to be top goal scorers. But can't complain. Um, again, you've got this Daniel Baldini who's come back from injury. 13 um, appearances, 4 goals, 7 assists. I can't ask for anything more. And it's been great. Um, there's been one change that we've done and that's a transfer change. We have brought in one player in. Um, I'll let you guys know who it is. Um, it is a attacking right mid um, full, well, uh, winger. Sorry, We needed somebody on the right hand side. Um, and we've brought in Cristiano uh, Lombardi. Um, and he's not too bad. He's played two games for us. And he's been all right. Hasn't been the best. But I thought we'd bring him in just for some depth into the squad here. Um, and again, he's a four-star potential, four-and-a-half-star. And his stats are not too bad, I guess. Got some decent mentals around here. Um, and physicals is, are quite strong besides, obviously, balance, strength and jumping reach. And again, like I said, guys, uh, today's game is against Juventus under 23 and it's at home. Um, and it's going to be a hard one. Um, but before we even go into that, I didn't show you guys the league table. And look where we are, guys. We are six. That's the best we've done so far, being with them. We played 17 games, seven wins, seven draws and three loss, which is not bad with a plus seven goal difference. So we are making improvements, but... I'm hanging in because I do feel we have a decent squad, but we may need to move away from them. Maybe if it's even, you know, moving to someone in a different division or so or different league. Um, but let's see what's happening. We are, in the, we are in the playoffs position at the present moment. Obviously, I do know there is a lot of games to be played, but we are literally about 11 points away from, from relegation, which is really good. And our aim is to fight bravely against relegation this season and... We're on course to do that. So again, we will go straight into the tactics, guys. And we are going to play a 4-2-3-1. Just want to have a little look at seeing who's available and if we need to make any changes. Um, first of all, and see who, who's maybe not here. Uh, Duncan is, seems to be coming back from injury. Remember, he was out for about eight months. So it would be kind of nice to have him back. Uh, Burgess, who's our right back as well. Um, he's been out for a couple of months as well and we really need him. We are slightly struggling a little bit on the right-hand side just though Terminelli is not playing that bad. Um, and I think we're going to probably stay with the squad as it is here and we're going to just put him as a cover defence and Mandanico um, as the centre-back, centre central defence on stoppage. A stopper, sorry. Um, just having a little look here. Yep, this looks all right to me. Um, yeah, we've just... We have dropped um, Tonini um, and we've gone for Fosolo, um, which is probably the best option to have at the present moment. And hopefully, if he doesn't do good, we can always come in and put someone else on there. Um, it's going to be a difficult game. It is Juventus under 23. Um, and so they are going to have some, by name, they're going to have some really good players. Um, but why not? Why can't we get a victory here? And that's exactly what, what we're going to be looking for today. Um, they want us to give them a bit of morale, but... We've been in good and let's see why not. I can't... Okay, that didn't work. Uh, let me just tell them I've got faith in them. Another thing as well, guys, um, as well, I haven't been too impressed with our goalkeeper. Um, it's quite a poor goalkeeper, so 
if we do obviously go in next season, still being at Gazana, we may be looking at that um, defensive. I'm um, sorry, that goalkeeper position. I do feel goalkeeper and strikers where we're um, losing a bit, and we could do with maybe another centre midfielder, just a defensive midfielder. But again, this is a highlight to us, and this is Maldini in and oof, just over the post. It hits well, hits the post, but is offside. Unlucky. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to do an early shout here. Um, I've really learned to do good with the shouts, and I'm just going to tell them, get creative, and that should speed it up, and there you go. You can see that they are inspired, and we've just had another shot, and another one, and talking, and Guetta with the cross, whips it in, unlucky, doesn't beat the first man. Back into Guetta, he crosses it in, there you go, ooh, and that's a great save by the keeper. Don't know how he saved that, but that's a great save. Maldini should be taking it. I'm not too sure by Guetta's taking it, but we'll leave it as that. Guetta with the, with the corner again. Goes back in to Maldini. Gets it back into Guetta. Guetta plays it in. There you go. Have a shot. Have a pop, mate. Have a pop. Oh, unlucky. We play it through. There you go. Mondenico with the ball. What can he do? Oh, ref is out. Oh, corner. Corner again. Not bad. We're not starting that bad. Um, good start so far. We've got ourselves another corner. If we can whip that in and hopefully get a near post header in, that will be great. Unlucky. Heads out. Back into it. Guetta with the ball again, plays it, and this is nice football we're doing, and that's the end of it. Four shots, three on target, and again, I am going to, whoopsie, sorry about that, guys. I'm not sure what happened there. But, yep, yeah. oh, there you go, Fasola with the ball now. We haven't been playing that great. Sorry, we haven't been playing that bad, sorry. Um, oh, great tackle, great tackle, well done. We've been playing, we haven't been playing that bad actually. Um, if we can press them now. Um, so far the highlights and everything is looking more on Gazano, but anything can happen. And I've realised we've never had some luck, you know. It would be nice to have some luck and a keeper just spill it back to us. But Keja with the ball, Khaled with the ball, sorry. Plays it into Militari and he's got the ball on the left. He's got, he can play it on the right hand side there. This is good football, patient football we're playing here. There you go, brilliant. There you go. Lombardi, Lombardi with the ball. Can he cross it in? He does cross it in and that's a goal. Come on, Maldini. And I'm telling you, this guy, if we can sign him, that will be a, that will be the signing of the season. And again, Maldini comes in and scores for us. Well done. And, and Lombardi had to do the job. Came in and his first assist. Then that's good. Provenzano, what's that? What's his name? Provenzano, Provenzano is not having the best of games. For Solo is not having the best of games. And uh, what we're gonna do here? We're gonna shout, and this is where we have learned how to get good at the shout. And we're gonna say, and we're gonna praise them for that goal. And hopefully they should be inspired by that. But there you go again with the good football. Guetta with the ball, and that's a long ball over onto that left hand side. And Maldini, as he does always, he skips past one. He cuts in. He cuts in again. He takes the shot. Ooh, just past the post. I'm telling you, Maldini is such a guy. I'm telling you. Ah, uh, wow. Such a guy. So, right. What we want to do is tell them don't get complacent. Because we are playing good. And say, you weren't that bad. You weren't that bad. And I want to say to him that uh, I'm not happy with your finishing. And that's it. We go straight into it. We may make a change for Solo and Provenzano. I'm not having the best of games. So we should probably make two changes. But it's a free kick to us. And it's Maldini who should be stepping up to this. And Maldini with the free kick. Whips it. Bends it. Ooh. And we're going to make a change. We're going to make a change. We're going to make a change. Right. What we're going to do now because... Um, Provenzano is not playing the best um, who do we have here that we can play there um, ok we're going to play Fadato there but what I'm going to do is Fadato I'm going to put him as a shadow striker to help out Tonin Ricardo Tonin we're going to play him there and we're going to have him as a should we have him as a pressing no advance forward that should be enough and what I'm going to do is shout again. And guys, watch this. Once I go creative, they should get inspired. Hopefully they should. 
okay, well, it worked a bit. Tim Nilly is feels pressured by it. Not sure why. Um, I feel like we need to freshen it up there a bit. 67 minutes have gone. We've had 12 shots, five on target. And again, it's all us. Greta with the ball. Don't lose that there, please, Greta. Well done. Plays it into Guardo. Guardo with the ball. Plays it into Greta. Greta unlucky. There you go. If you can make a mistake, that would be great. Well done. There you go. Militari with the ball. Oh, he skips one. Lombardi. Lombardi! Come on. I don't even know if I said his name right, but I don't care. Lombardi. And that's it. His first goal for Gazzano. And he's got an assist and, and a goal in this game. And that's the way forward. 2 0 to Gazzano. Forza Gazzano. Come on. We deserve this. We've been the better team. And again, we're going to shout and we're going to praise them. And that should help them out a bit. The praise, hopefully. Yep, there you go. Um, Maldini is a bit tired. So we are going to give him a, a little rest. Um, we are going to put on Falcone. See how he does there. And let's see if we can make another substitution. Center midfield's a bit tired a bit. Um, Guetta's had a brilliant game, but we may just take him off. Um, Guetta can come off. And we are going to put on... Okay, well, my only best bet is Nicola Palazzolo. So we'll put him in there. Just to give these guys a bit of rest. And again, it's Gazzano with the throw. And it's Fadato with the ball. What is he going to do? He crosses it in. Unlucky. Straight to Militari. To Lombardani. Or whatever his name is. Fasolo with the ball. Falcone, can he score? And no. Keeper saves it. And that's a great save. Four minutes stoppage time. And it's a corner. What can we do with this corner? Militari with the, with the corner. Whips that in to the near post. Unfortunately, no one's there. Fadato. Still with the ball. If he can give it back to Militari, that would be good. No, he decides to hold the ball. Gives it to Militari. And if he can lay off Palazzolo. Okay, and we're just keeping the ball here, I believe. Callage with the ball. Well done. This is good football. Great. This is good football, boys. Well done. Falcone with the ball. There you go. Well done. Militari with the ball. This was just... There you go. Falcone. He plays in. This is good pass. We're just holding the ball here. Well done. Unless we just need to make sure that we don't. Well done. Good, good, good. I like this. I like this football. Look at this football, guys. Look at that football. And then this is exactly what happens when you mess about with it. And now they're on the counter-attack. And this Mota guy is somebody that I'm actually looking to, to get in. And they've got the ball. They whip it on. What a save. The, oh, a bit lucky there. Now it's a corner. 91 minutes have gone. Two minutes, three more minutes stoppage time. They've got the corner in. We header it out. And hopefully, yep, yeah, that's the end of it. And we should win this game. Come on. It's been a really good game. Um, obviously, Lombardi needs to have man of the match because he's had an assist and a goal. So I assume that he should actually get that up. And, yep, yeah, we, we battered them. We had 64 possession, um, eight shots on target, 15 shots. They had seven and five, which I guess is not that bad. But we really, really dominated them. And we have really changed this Gazzano team. Um, last season, we probably would have not lost this. We would have lost this game, sorry. And um, yeah, it would have been really bad. And I've just got to be passionate with these guys because they've been really good. I'm very happy with the result and the way you played because we played brilliant. And defensively, again, um, your defensive effort was crucial in our game. Midfield again, your playmaking was definitely crucial. And up front, your effort in the final third wasn't that bad. But again, that's a 2 0 victory to us. That should hopefully move us up the table. But everything is looking nice. But we'll be level headed. We'll take each game as it comes and we just take it like that. Um, and again, um, they say that we shock them. But I, uh, that's right. But Lombardi, he definitely played great for us and he had a 9. Point zero uh, rating, one goal, one assist, four key passes. Um, we definitely have to praise him, and you know you have to give props to when props is due. And we're gonna go straight into the league. We are we've stayed seventh, okay, thirty one points. We are twelve points away from first place. I know I'm calm. Don't worry. I'm not thinking of 
um, winning the league. Um, if we can stay in and around that playoff position, that's more than enough for me, to be honest with you. If we can stay around there, if we can have a promising striker, I do believe that we can we can definitely challenge. But let's see what happens. We're not that bad. We have improved from last season, without a doubt. Um, we've improved. But just that goal scoring, we probably need to um, improve on clean sheets as well. Um, but again, yep, yeah, we're 31 points. So, yeah, we're moving nicely around the table. Uh, 13, th sorry, 14 points, I believe, away from relegation position. We don't want to be there at all. And again, let's look into the schedule. And again, we're unbeaten in about four games, which is great. But we won't, again, get carried away. Um, but I'll come, I'm, this is, I'm, we're coming back for this game, guys, because I want... I want revenge. I want revenge in this game because I felt we didn't deserve to lose this game. So, guys, we're going to come back to the Renate game. <laughs> very important game. I want to get some revenge back on them. Um, but, again, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, please. It means a lot to me. Hit that thumbs up. Don't be afraid to hit the comments as well. If you want to have a little chat or anything you felt went well or any suggestions you might think. Or what you think about the match. I'm always welcomed, welcoming commenting. Um, but again guys. Thank you very much again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you and bye.